This is the Sonaflow clamp-on ultrasonic flow meter that works on flexible tubing as small as 4 millimeters. Coming up next on Tech Review. The traditional ultrasonic transit time flow meter requires about a half inch minimum of rigid metal or plastic pipe or tube. The Sonaflow breaks all the rules because it works on flexible tubing as small as four millimeters. And what's really amazing, this little sensor is a transducer, a signal processor, and a transmitter all in this little cube. Interesting. Let's see how it works. The Sonaflow sensor utilizes the ultrasonic transit time method. This transit time math equation requires a defined distance across the pipe, or in this case, the flexible tube. Now, the problem with a flexible tube is that the shape is not perfectly round or consistent in any way. So, the math will not work. To resolve this issue, the flexible tubing is inserted into a channel which forces the tubing into a defined shape. So now we have the required dimension for our math equation. As you can see in the diagram in the lower right-hand corner, the gray represents a flexible tube with the liquid flowing from left to right. Four piezo elements are arranged in an X pattern. The transmitter send pulsating ultrasonic waves in a predefined frequency from one side to the other. So, A1 sends a signal to B1, and it's going in the directions with the flow, and the transit time is noted. At the same time, A2 sends a signal to B2, but in this case, the signal is going against the flow current and would take a longer period of time to transit the tube. The difference in transit time between the upstream and the downstream is proportional to the average flow velocity. And since we know the area of the tube now, the volumetric flow is calculated in engineering units. This model is the, the V2 series, and this particular size is for four millimeter tubing. You can see this channel right there. Uh, the method of uh, operation, of course, is ultrasound. Uh, it has an X pattern, and it's a dry coupling. So no coupling is required. What you'll do is you'll take your flexible tube and put that in the channel just like that close your channel and uh, you're all set to go. Calibration, sensors are factory calibrated for water at 23 degrees C. And they offer custom calibrations for special tubing, fluid, flow range, and temperature. That's optional and request. Uh, you can also get your own field calibration software uh, to do it yourself at your facility. Uh, mounting is a fixed installation. The sensor size or channel, as we saw this was a four millimeter, they're available in different sizes, up to four, from four millimeter up to 35 millimeter flexible tubing. Uh, flow rates range from all these different tubing sides, mind you, down as low as 20 milliliters up to 200 liters. The type of liquid would be water, chemical, and even do human blood or other acoustically transparent liquids. The sensor material, the sensor itself, the sensor material there, uh, the channel, the little window that's underneath the tube there is PMMA. Uh, the housing uh, is aluminum and uh, it's anodized for the gray and the black. There are some other options. You can get one in stainless steel and in plastic. Um, as far as the input signals, let's turn this guy around here. We have uh, this port right here. Uh, and basically the operating voltage is 12 to 30 volt uh, VDC. Uh, 
the maximum consumption is 30 milliamps. This electrical connection here is an 8-pin M12 connector. And from that, we can get some output signals. Uh, signals would include the 4 to 20 milliamp uh, frequency from 0 to 20 kilohertz and a 5-volt digital, uh, also RS-485 interface, and a switching output as a PNP or an NPN. So, this flow meter is designed for small, flexible tubing applications. It's perfect for a wide variety of liquid processes like water, chemicals, and even blood, just to name a few. But the price is bigger than the size. Let's just say you're paying for some very, very sophisticated technology with base prices starting at about $4,000 and up with options and software and larger size sensors as well. So it's not for everyone, but if you have a low flow, flexible tubing application and want a non-contact flow metering solution, Sonaflow, which is made by Sonatech, is the ultrasonic flow meter for you. I'd like to thank you for watching our program. For more information on today's subject, check out our show notes and links that are listed below. If you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. And as always, we would appreciate any suggestions of technology that we should include in our tech review program. This has been Brent Baird for Instruments Direct. See you next time.